My name is Eric Kippen, and I'm a professor at MIT with joint appointment in electrical engineering and in physics. And I carry out laser research focused on ultra-fast optics in the Research Lab of Electronics. The work we do is not work in which we use something we've learned to solve problems a certain way and until what we've learned becomes obsolete. The work involves always trying to do something new and different. So the object of every research endeavor is to learn something new and to make something new happen, develop something further. It's not just about learning about them. I mean, science is really about doing and making things happen. The central focus and motivation of my research is using lasers to create the shortest flashes of light in the world. With lasers now, we're able to create flashes of light that are 10 million times shorter than a, an electronic flash from a camera. The shorter flash of light you can make, the more bits of information you can send per second. It's a law of physics that if you want to produce a very short pulse in time, you need a lot of frequencies to do that. The most exciting thing in the past couple of years is that for the first time we are now not able not only to control how long this flash lasts, but we're actually able to control the waveforms, the electric and magnetic field waveforms that are inside that flash. So for the first time, we can play electrical engineering and even some physics at frequencies that are a million times higher than we've been able to do before. I like my students to be independent operators as much as possible. So when a, when a new student comes into my group, I generally have a particular topical area in which to get him to start looking maybe work with another graduate student to get into the, to learn how things work in the laboratory, but encourage him to think about new ways, new ideas that we might put to use. So I expect my students to walk into my office at any time. Um, my doors are always open. It's pretty clear to them, they, and I stated specifically, don't, they don't need to make an appointment to walk into my office. I, I always tell my students, come to me with, tell me how we ought to be doing something, and then it's my job to try to get the resources to make that happen. We rely on our students to bring us new and crazy ideas. That's how we move in new directions, and that's, of course, uh, a tremendous benefit to being at MIT because the students are so good. The organization and support of RLE has been invaluable to me since I came here. In fact, I wouldn't have been able to live without the staff at RLE. Uh, we rely on them for to make sure things work around here, that we don't have to be bothered with uh, a lot of paperwork details and finances. We get help with all that. We get advice. There is more than a critical mass of and a variety of expertise and activities going on. So that if you get an idea for extending your own research in a particular direction, chances are you can find an expert in that area within RLE or within some other department at MIT, seek them out, get students working together. Um, you know, it's a very symbiotic environment. A lot of what we see looks very pretty to me. But at the same time, a lot of what we do, the elegance and the beauty is in the understanding because what we're looking at is too small to see. The flashes of light we're using to look at them are invisible. I've just been so fortunate that the field I'm in has provided exciting new pathways for me time and time again. And, uh, I've just been really lucky that 
what I like to do best, I get to do for a living. <laughs>